the reward for the mitzvot are not actually mentioned in the Torah. Sometimes benefits are mentioned, but the actual reward is not. There is, however, something that we are told about one of the mitzvot, which is considered, out of all the 613, probably one of the most important. That, of course, is the mitzvah of Shabbat. Actually, Shabbat is so important that it's compared to all the other 612 mitzvot on one side and Shabbat on the other. That's how special Shabbat is. And actually, Shabbat is the only mitzvah that is called a matana tova, a great gift. That's how Hashem himself, God himself, describes the holy Shabbat day. Why that exact analogy? What is the gift of Shabbat? So we all can relate to Shabbat being a gift in the wrong ways. We get to relax, spend time with our families, enjoy, learn Torah, have wonderful food, deal with friends and sing. But there's another aspect, and actually it's referred to in L'chad Dodi, that is the beautiful song we sing in synagogues on Friday night. And in that song, Shabbat is called the Makor Habaracha, the source of all blessings. What does that mean exactly? Well, we all want blessing in our lives. We want to be successful financially. We want to be successful when it comes to our relationships and our friends at work. We want to be successful in terms of our health. Now, all those things are things that we can accrue for ourselves. However, we're told the best way to get blessing channeled into our lives is by going to Shabbat. Shabbat is the Makor HaBracha. It is the source of all the good things that happen to us as a people, the land of Israel, and ultimately the entire world. So actually when we enjoy our Shabbat and get one, enjoyment and pleasure out of Shabbat, which is really God day, that's what Shabbat is, we're drawing down the blessings to ourselves and to our families, our communities, in a way that no other mitzvah can. That, says the Chavetz Chaim, actually, is the real blessing, the real gift of Shabbat.